When you wake up from the spell of Leviathan, this doesn't mean that you're healed as a person. It means that now you just have a new belief system. I woke up when I was 26, but when I woke up, I had to deprogram from all the narcissistic uh, indoctrine. I was fed, force fed through the education system, through movies and entertainment. I had to unlearn all those negative behaviors and all the things that my parents unconsciously handed down to me some of those behaviors I had to unlearn those and really figure out my true self so a lot of us when we first wake up and we start coming into knowledge we run into these spells these magical spells and try to control things outside of ourselves which is not a bad thing I think it's all part of the learning process on your ascension these types of spells only work on people that are unhealed haven't dealt with their childhood trauma that are lost still under the spell of leviathan sleep so love spells can backfire in two ways. If you're attracting somebody that's in a low vibrational state, you're gonna see all the negative traits of their personality when you attract them to you. So let's say you break up with a person, you had a bad breakup and you want revenge or you want them to come back crying or something like that, you might get them back and they'll do something worse than they did before. If you do a spell, a love spell on somebody that's high vibrational, it might backfire because this person is taking spiritual baths, burning sage and frankincense and myrrh and got crystals around them and you know what I'm saying? Praying, talking to their ancestors. This gives them like a type of protection. Their vibration is so high that they're not affected by these lower vibrational energies that you're sending at them. So what that usually does is come right back to you. So. If you want them to be crying or thinking about you, you're going to end up crying and thinking about them. And then also, you got to be careful because um, somebody might be asleep. They might be under the spell of Leviathan, but they might have ancestors watching over them that um, are protecting them for that type of thing while they're going through their um, karmic lessons. So if you're in a low vibrational state and you're doing a love spell on somebody else that's in a lower vibrational state, usually that's a good match. <laughs> it might end up working. But if you're lower vibrational and you're trying to send this love spell to somebody that's higher vibrational, it's probably not going to work. You know what I'm saying? And if you're high vibrational trying to send a love spell, that's somebody that's lower vibrational is probably not going to work. And then when you're both here, when you're both high vibrational, it's genuine, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, there's no need to do love spells because it's like pure godly love, you know what I'm saying? It's rap mythology coming at you like a true knocker, peace.